The Cowboys' defensive matchup against the Green Bay Packers' offense won't be an easy one come this Sunday. Micah Parsons, Deron Bland, and Demarcus Lawrence look to take on Jordan Love, Aaron Jones, and a host of young receivers. In today's video, we're going to talk about two things that the Cowboys' defense is going to have to do if they want to stop this Packers' offense. So let's not waste any more time and get into the video. Stop the run. Aaron Jones has been known to be a Cowboys killer. In his three career games against Dallas, Jones has racked up 62 carries for 370 yards, averaging 123 yards per game. That is six yards per carry for six touchdowns. In 2019, when the Cowboys lost to the Packers, Jones had four rushing touchdowns on the day. Now that 2019 Cowboys defense and this one in 2023, are very different. In 2019, that team finished 8-8. Eight eight. Rod Marinelli was the defensive coordinator. Jalen Smith and Sean Lee were your linebackers with Chidobe Awuzie and Byron Jones as your corners. This in 2023 is a completely different unit outside of Demarcus Lawrence, Jordan Lewis, and Donovan Wilson. But this Packers offense isn't the same one you saw either in 2019. No Aaron Rodgers this time around or Devontae Adams. But they still have Aaron Jones who has missed some time this season with an injury, but has really started to get back to his old self in the past month. In the past three games, Jones has had 20 plus carries for more than 100 yards, averaging 5.6 yards per carry. On the season, the Dallas defense has allowed 4.2 yards per carry, with the Green Bay offense sitting at 4.3. Although the Cowboys defense hasn't been near as bad as they were in 2022 at stopping the run, they have struggled at times specifically against the Cardinals and the Bills. I think that Bills game scarred us all. Luckily, Dallas has their big defensive tackle, Jonathan Hankins, back for this game. He should help plug up the middle, but it's still going to be a tough task to slow down the Packers' run game. So, goal number one, stop Aaron Jones or at least slow him down. He's killed you in games in the past. You can't let him do that in this playoff game. Do not let him carry the Packers. We'll talk about it in just a moment, but I believe the best thing that the Cowboys defense can do in this game is make Jordan Love and these young receivers beat you consistently. Yes, they can make plays, Jordan Love can make good to great throws. We'll talk about it more in just a moment, but if you can't slow down this Packers run game, it gets a whole lot harder to stop Jordan Love and these receivers. Please don't let them pick up five to six yards per attempt and get to second and third and short, because if you do, it's gonna be a really long day and it's gonna be extremely hard to get off the field so your offense can get out there and work. Force them to face off against Micah Parsons and company, holding them to two to three yards per carry, make them convert in third and long situations. That's where we've seen the Cowboys defense beat teams down all year. It's hard to hold up against this pass rush when it's third and nine, third and 10. And they're going to have to do it in this game too. Limit the big plays. Stopping the run should be priority 1A. Priority 1B is limiting the Packers' big plays. That goes for both on the ground and through the air. We've already discussed the Cowboys' run defense, so let's focus on Jordan Love versus this secondary. Love started out his first season as the Packers' quarterback pretty impressively but that play slowly took a dive midway through the season, and he just wasn't playing his best football. But after the Packers lost to the New York Giants later in the season, he has really stepped up his game. If we look at this quarterback efficiency chart from this season, you'll kind of get an idea of where Love's season ranked amongst NFL quarterbacks. I'm sure a lot of you haven't caught a ton of Packers games this season, much like myself. So let's look at some of these names that Jordan Love is around. You have Love, Jared Goff, Baker Mayfield, Patrick Mahomes in a sort of down year. Overall in EPA, Love ranked as the 10th most efficient passer in football. Pretty good. But if you just take weeks 12 through 18, you'll see him jump up to the second most efficient passer in football. Love has done this with a very young receiving core. You have to respect this offense. 
No, they don't have a number one receiver like a Devontae Adams or a CeeDee Lamb, but they have guys that can burn you at inopportune times if you're not ready for it. Any guy on the field could be getting the ball at any time. There's no true number one receiver that you have to worry about. The main thing I think about with a young receiving core is confidence. You cannot let this group get a 40 to 50 yard gainer to give them confidence in this game. For a lot of these guys, it's their first playoff appearance. Don't let them pick up chunk plays. Love is gonna make some good to great throws, but wrapping these guys up, getting some pass breakups could really limit these young receivers. You're gonna need all three cornerbacks, Bland, Gilmore, and Lewis to have good games. Do I think they can do it? Yes. I think the Cowboys corners match up favorably with the Packers. But my concern is, is you get out there, the Packers start moving the ball around there, throwing to this guy and this guy and this guy, and then you're in trouble because you're giving up 15 to 20 yards a pop. Make this team with all of this young talent and playoff nerves march down the field methodically. Make them pick up third and longs on a consistent basis, like we talked about with the run game. Sure, they might be able to do it, they, and they probably will do it at certain points, but you'll have a much better chance of holding up on drives if you're limiting those big plays. So with all of that being said, I know I said I would have three videos out this week, but you know, life happened. So in this video, we're gonna get to my score prediction, which is 33-24, Cowboys get the win. I think the Cowboys defense gets beat at times. I think this is a close first half. I also think that the Cowboys defensive line gets after Jordan Love, makes him a bit uncomfortable. And then we slowly see the Cowboys pull away midway through the third quarter into the fourth, mainly because I think the Dallas offense is going to smoke this Green Bay secondary. So if you want to see me talk about that, click on this video right here that just popped up on your screen. Dak Prescott and C. CD Lamb are going to torch these guys. I'll see you guys over there.